Hi, and welcome to our Mobile Developer Builder Series. My name is David Ha, and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today, we're going to walk through the very first few steps in building a new smart button function. Today, we're going to build a map applet to show active incidents on a map view, and then configure a smart button so that we can navigate to a location with a tap of a button on the screen. Let's go ahead and hop in Studio and get started. On Studio, let's go ahead and create our map applet by clicking this pop-out icon next to Mobile Builder, and then we'll click Create an Applet. Let's go ahead and name this Incidents Map. We'll select our icon and color. And then since we want to display incident information on a map view, we'll go ahead and select the map template and bring over the activity stream as well. Once we're done, we'll click New. And since we've already pre-configured a data item for our active instance, let's go ahead and select it for our data item. And now we get to configure our fields. The most important fields to me are priority, number, short description, state, company phone, and location. So let's go ahead and bring those over to our first layer screen. The template on our right shows us exactly where we're placing those fields from E1 to E6. So for E1, let's go ahead and bring over a number. E2 is priority. E3 is short description. E4 is state. And then for E5, if you take a look at our template, you'll see a phone icon. And it's telling me that it's expecting a number type field for phone. So we have to make sure that E5 is company phone, otherwise it won't show up on mobile. And in order to bring over a company phone, uh, we need to dot walk from company to phone. So let's first search up company. And then we'll click on this little black right icon to dot walk. And then we'll bring over phone. Okay. And then for E6, what we need to do is clear out our filter and show all the rest of the fields. So we'll click on this green all fields. And now we can see the rest of our fields. For E6, you'll see the templates expecting uh, a location type field. And so we'll bring over a location for E6. And then once we're done with all of our fields, we'll go ahead and click save in the top right. For the second layer view on our detail screen, let's go ahead and bring in additional fields. We'll click into details and we're configuring fields for our header. So let's go ahead and replicate from primary. And this will save us the hassle from clicking all the same fields again. Um, I do want to mention that E5 is expecting an avatar type field, not phone. So we're going to take this off our list and then we'll temporarily take off location as well and bring that into our body instead. Now we'll configure the body of our detail screen. And let's bring over a couple fields for assigned to and location as well. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and click save in the top right. Now let's go back into my mobile device and refresh the home screen. We'll tap into mobile builder and into instant map. And immediately we can see all the data and the fields that we brought over onto our primary screen. I can also do things like swipe to look at other incidents. If you take a look at our location and phone fields, you notice that they're immediately actual because we used a map template. When we tap on the location icon, we can navigate to the GPS location using maps, or I should be able to make a phone call with a tap of a button. We can also do things like drill into the incident and get additional information from our second layer screen for these additional fields. If you notice, the location field here is a native field, but I'm not able to tap into it. What we need to do first is create a new smart button and make this field actionable on the detail screen. So let's go ahead and jump back into Studio and create a new smart button. On Studio, on our left-hand navigation panel, let's create a new smart button by clicking this pop out next to smart button. We'll click create new. We'll name this map. The type will be address. The context is going to be record because it requires context from the current record that we're in to navigate there. We'll select the incident table. And then for the field, we'll select location. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click save. And now that we've created a smart button, we now have to put it somewhere on the applet. Since our location type field is gonna be on the detail screen of our incident map applet, that's exactly where we're gonna put it. So now let's open up our incident map applet. We'll go into our details tab and into functions. 
And what we're going to do now is create a new field function for location. We'll select the location type field, and then we'll select the function for smart button that we just created for maps. And then we'll click done. Now all we have to do is click save in the top right, and then open this up on our agent app. So going back to our mobile device, we're going to refresh the home screen. We'll click into mobile builder and then into incident map. Now, if I click into an incident, we should see that the location field is an actual field on our detail screen. When I tap into it, we can now navigate and open up one of our GPS apps and natively navigate there. And in just minutes, we just created our very first smart button, which allows us to leverage native features of our device and not resort to using copy and paste. By leveraging the mobile first fields, we can call, navigate to location, open up a link, or send emails all through a tap of a button. And this wraps up our quick intro to smart buttons. Thank you for watching.